Here's how I write shellcode in three minutes or less. First step is to choose what you want your shellcode to do. Most shellcode is usually setting up to make either a Windows API call or a Linux syscall. Since I'm in Linux, I'm over at the Linux system call table from the Chromium projects. I'll link this down below. If you scroll down, there is an excellent syscall table here, which actually lists out all of the different Linux syscalls and some details about how to call them. To keep things simple in this example, I'm just going to do a basic write syscall that prints out the word word exploit. However, these steps will work for whatever functionality you choose. We'll see on the left, we have the syscall number, which is number one. There are the references here, which are excellent documentation about this syscall if you need more details. And then importantly, we have all of the arguments that need to be passed in. The next step is now to write the assembly that sets up to perform the syscall and then calls it. To save time, I've got the assembly already written out here. So if you wanna read through it, feel free to pause and read through. There's comments on every line of what it does. To assemble this, we can go as-g-o and we'll call the out file print underscore shellcode dot o and the input file I have called print underscore shellcode dot s. The next step is to link this. So we'll go LD-E and the start of this is just called start. The output file we'll call is going to be called print underscore shellcode, the name of the binary. And the input is going to be that print underscore shellcode. So now we can actually just run this to make sure it actually works and prints out what we want. So we can go dot slash print underscore shellcode, and we'll see that we get exploit, and then it crashes with a seg fault. The reason it crashes is because we actually haven't written our assembly properly to actually exit. Now, if you run objump dash m intel dash d, and then the name of the file, which is print underscore shellcode, we can actually see all of the assembly and the corresponding opcodes, which are what will make up the shellcode for the assembly. The way that I like to strip raw hex or shellcode out of a binary is with XXD. So to do that, we can go XXD dash P and then the name of the binary, which is print underscore shellcode. However, if we just want to strip that out, we can make use of grep. So what we can do is run that again, but this time we'll type it into grep. And I know the shellcode is going to take two lines here. So I'm going to do dash A2. And then what I'll do is actually just use the first few characters of hex that I saw in that ob jump, which is 48B9 for us. And now we've actually got the shell code here. So it starts at 48B9 and then it actually ends at 0F05. The next step, which would actually be for another short, is to make sure we remove any bad characters, which in this example would be null terminators, and then actually craft an exploit that we could use to then run against the vulnerable binary that we've identified. If you found this interesting and you want to learn more, make sure to check out the Assembly 101 course on the TCM Security Academy.